Hey guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the third and final video for a DIY set of Mickey ears that are Festival of the Arts inspired. Now this pair, I'm stretching it a little bit because they are actually inspired by the Art of Animation Resort Hotel at Disney World. Um, but it's the Art of Animation Festival of the Arts. Come on. So I actually made this set of ears uh, for for a friend in Year of the Ear, uh, which is an ear swap that I participate in. It is a monthly swap and I do participate most months. If you guys are interested, I will link my playlist down below that has, I think, all of them, but I might be missing a couple. But this set of ears I made because we had a theme of resorts and I thought that this was a really fun take on it. I also thought that it was a really fun way of incorporating Disney Dorables into a set of ears because I love Disney Dorables. I have a lot of them just sitting in a box. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made this set of kind of like snow globe, Disney adorable, art of animation, festival of the arts inspired ears, then just keep watching. The first thing you're gonna need are these clear ornaments that separate in half. I get mine from Amazon and I will have them linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. And because I'm going to be making this look like kind of the ocean on one half of them, I'm gonna be painting. I'm using this dark blue and this kind of tealish color and that's all I'm going to be using because I'm going to blend them together to make different shades of blue to kind of look like water. So I'm starting with a brush and just coating it all in the darker blue color and then I'm going to go in with the lighter blue and kind of purposefully make it a little bit streaky. Um, I didn't love how this turned out at first, but I just needed to do another coat. So it was very, very streaky the first time. Then I tried to use a sponge brush and that just ended up wiping off most of the paint. So don't use a sponge brush, use a bristle brush. Um, just plan on doing at least two coats. If you want it to be completely opaque and not see through at all, then probably three coats and just allow it to dry between the two coats. Um, I did try to lighten up one end versus the other just to give it a little bit more of like an ombre effect when you're looking at it. Um, but again, if you don't allow your coats to totally dry between, it might peel up the paint as you're working. Um, I do end up going back and painting in some coral and some things like that, but I didn't do that till later. So watch this video all the way through before you start because the steps are kind of out of order. Um, so now I'm going to be cutting off the bottom of this ornament and I'm going to be using the smallest template linked down below for you guys the foam and batting template to mark where I need to cut so I'm just placing it on top of the template and then just kind of sketching out a rough line of where I need to cut on this little plastic ornament and then giving myself a good start and ending mark on the back portion as well because I want to make sure that the opening lines up exactly where I want it um, on the painted one and the not painted one so in order to cut this plastic, I'm gonna be using a wood carving tool. It is a hot knife, so it does have a knife blade. I got this from Hobby Lobby years ago, and it was about $14. Um, I will try to find something on Amazon that's similar, just so that it's like easy if you guys don't have anything like this. Um, but you just heat up the blade and then very patiently and gently push the blade through the plastic. And what this is going to do is literally melt its way through the plastic to cut off the portion that you don't want. Um, this is the best way to attach this plastic ornament to the ears because the way that the ornament is shaped initially, it's just not gonna sit right. Um, I'm also using the hot tool to cut off the little portion of the ornament that you would normally put a hook through to hang it up um, so that it's just a perfect sphere. And then this is what it'll look like once you've cut off that portion of it. And then go ahead and repeat this step on the other side as well. So that little plastic thing you can cut off, but you can also just snap it off. It just kind of depends on like how sturdy your plastic is, I guess. Um, but if you're going to have the hot tool anyway, you might as well just cut it off. And then I am putting these together before continuing because I want to make sure that the line or the opening lined up really well. And then continuing on, uh, I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing the second ear. So I'm actually using the first ear as a tracing template and then using that to create where I need to cut off of the second ornament just to make my life a little bit easier and make sure that they stay symmetrical. And then I'll use the hot tool to cut off the bottoms. So now for the doorbells, I went ahead and glued these in. Now again, I am going to paint some more on these and it would have been so much easier if I had painted first and then added them on. Um, but that's not the order I did things in, so 
Um, I just applied a little bit of hot glue to Dory's tail and then just stuck her down and it's so cute. It looks like she's literally swimming and the hot glue is barely noticeable even when you get really close. Um, and then I also decided to add Nemo next to her. Originally, I was only going to do Finding Nemo characters, but I really liked the idea of showcasing Ariel and Flounder as well because these were for the Art of Animation Hotel. Um, and as you guys know, they have like four different, you know, like areas there. They've got like Lion King, uh, Finding Nemo, Little Mermaid, and Cars. And um, I really liked the idea of doing the two movies that were like in the ocean. Um, so then I just finished gluing down Nemo. I do hold them in place um, until the glue dries because I want to make sure that they look popped up in 3D like they're floating in the water as opposed to like glued down onto it. And then I'm going to continue gluing Ariel and Flounder. Something else to watch out for is just make sure that your Disney doorbell is not so big that it's not going to allow the ornament to close back up. Um, both of mine were totally fine, but some of the doorbells might be different shapes or sizes. So it's just something you want to check before you go in and glue them down. They were looking a little bit plain, so I went in with these brighter colors to create some coral and some different like ocean type plants behind them. Um, again, I definitely would have done this before gluing them in if I had realized that's something that I wanted to do. So definitely do all your painting first, let the paint totally dry, then go in and glue in the characters. I did want to make sure that these were totally secure, so I decided to go ahead and do a, just a teensy amount of hot glue around the rim of the ornament, and then I'm going to just press these together to make sure that they're adhered very nicely together. Um, we're also going to be adding some trim around these, so if you get a little bit of glue on the rim, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and cover that up. To cover up the bottom hole that we have on the ornament, I traced the ornament to create like this little oval of felt. Um, and then here I'm tracing the one that I already had um, because I wanted it to be like a little bit bigger than the first one I cut. But essentially I'm just trying to create like a little bit of sand underneath them. And then I'm going to put hot glue around the hole and tap the felt down into the hot glue. It's okay if this is a little bit larger than the actual hole itself. That'll actually provide a nicer space to attach the headband to. Um, the felt adheres really, really nicely to the headband and then it looks like sand underneath them in the ocean. So next we're gonna be adding that trim and I chose this blue pom-pom trim. I just liked the texture that it added to the rim of this and I also think it gave it a really nice finished look around the edge. So I'm just adding a thin line of hot glue and then gently pressing down this trim into the hot glue. I'm gonna work my way all the way around and then cut off the excess. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a bow for this set of ears, so I went ahead and attached them to the headband first so that I could see what it looked like. I am using my ear spacing template, which I have linked down below for you guys if you need it, um, but it's about a two and a half inch uh, distance from ear to ear. And then I'm just putting hot glue on that felt portion of the ear and firmly pressing it down onto the headband to attach these to the headband. And then I also decided to add some trim on the bottom, but that will be like the last thing that I do. Now for the bow itself, I am going to be using this 3x5 piece of white felt as the uh, insert for the bow and then I have this fabric on hand that I'm going to be covering the felt up with. It's a bunch of old vintage movie posters of Disney movies, so like The Jungle Book, Alice in Wonderland, 101 Dalmatians. And I thought that really went well with this idea of like the animator's bow, or sorry, the animator design. Um, now this bow, or this piece of fabric, I don't have exact dimensions on because it was a scrap piece and I didn't measure it. Um, but I am just trying to figure out the best way to cover it up. So as you can see here, I'm cutting kind of an odd 
shape and it's almost like a trapezoid um, and then I'm just trying to figure out the best way to hide the seams so I'm going to be folding over long ends together and then short ends but again that's because I'm working with a scrap piece of fabric I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to making bows um, a mixture of some that are sewn and some that are just hot glued so if watching this isn't super clear of how to make the bow then I will link that video for you guys um, but I am just hot gluing down the fabric onto the felt and just trying to make sure that my hem lines um, aren't going to come undone or fray super bad or show when I fold the bow. So I did the long portions first and now I am doing the shorter portions of the fabric. The little corners of the fabric were popping up kind of weird so I did also tack those down to make sure that they didn't pop up whenever I accordion fold this in a second to create the actual bow shape. Um, and then like I said I'm going to be accordion folding it or just kind of pinching the fabric toward the middle to create that bow shape. Once I was pretty sure that I did like this design, I also am going to pull out some trim and that is what I'll be wrapping around the center of the bow to hold it in place. For the trim, I just used this really simple light blue silky ribbon. Um, I didn't have anything else that really matched the vibe, so I just went with something super simple. I tacked it down with a dot of hot glue and then I actually wrapped it around a couple of times just because the ribbon was so thin. Um, and then I hot glued down the other end and to attach this to the headband I'm just going to be putting some hot glue on the bottom of the bow and firmly pressing it down onto my headband And then after I attached the bow I did decide to add more of that pom-pom trim onto the bottom I didn't like how the brown felt was poking out and I just thought this would give it a little bit more of a finished look So I'm just doing a thin line of hot glue and then attaching the trim across the bottom of the ornament and that's the last step. I really enjoyed making these and I think they came out super cute. I also think this is so customizable and you could do a million different versions of these depending on the Disney Dorables that you have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully you have seen the other two uh, festival of the arts inspired mickey ears tutorials that i posted if not i will have them linked for you guys to check out and if you did make it all the way to the end of this video then please leave me a paint palette emoji so that i know you made it all the way through i appreciate you guys watching these videos liking them commenting on them and subscribing to my channel it is so helpful to my channel to help it keep growing and um you know help the algorithms and all that push it out to more people and i just love making these tutorials for you guys because i try to do it on a budget-friendly way and show you guys kind of the easiest method that i can find in order to do different stuff with your ears thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in my next one bye